Uh, hello? The heck is... Uh, okay, that's working now, but why is... Okay, give me a moment here. Greasy face just give crap to bed or something. Face trap, what? Okay. Apparently it lost face tracking for some reason. So I'll just start it up again. Okay. What? Okay, what the heck is going on here? Uh, let's see, settings. Did my... Did my webcam die or something? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Like, it's not essential or anything. So even these, yeah, is it even in here, Logitech Stream Cam, yes. No, there we What was that all about? The okay. Heck? Damn weird. Must have been part of the disconnect or something. For some reason, sometimes. My Bluetooth just loses connection, but I've never had it affect my webcam before. Like, I, th I think what happens with the Bluetooth is it attempts to swap to a newer driver that doesn't actually work. And yeah, it keeps attempting to install that, so I yeah, keep having to uninstall that. But uh, yeah. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian here tonight along with... PSM first meter keyer at your service. And for that, let's restart the timer. <laughs> yeah. Is everything looking good on your end? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Uh, what I do? Are you seeing something off then, or something? Oh wait, I have. Okay, it might be on my end uh, with either connection. Well, I thought we were lagging a bit. Okay. And uh, yep. Yeah. Welcome back up uh, there. Welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian, along with... PSM First Meter Kier, at your service. And welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, the fourth stream. And last time we got into the second sanctuary in a volcano. Uh, after we we got this uh, little toy last time. And we killed an ice creature with it, a big one at that. Wait, wait, wait. Um, what kind of creature it was again? Ice creature. What what did you hear? I thought you said nice creature. <laughs> but just because it's made out of ice doesn't mean it is nice. Anyways, we got kind of stuck here last time. Since, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anywhere else we can get out of the water here. We can't head back. So, yeah, I just looked up... I, I still have it on the side here on my phone. A walk this that's that same step by step walkthrough that is a little bit unhelpful for what we're trying to do here. But it does say that let's see da -da -da, an inlet creates a small lagoon. Get out your machete. Da -da -da -da. Dive to the left. Piranha, swim left towards the far side of the platform with the two tiki torches. And by that I'm pretty sure they mean the, the one that we're at here now. Those but I don't see anywhere piranhas. here to climb out. Hmm? I, I feel like that many people are mistaken these fish for piranhas, but they are not piranhas. That could be. It could just be that, like the, <laughs> could be that, like with the sharks, they, well, got a bit of a makeover. Hmm. Let's see. Leave the water where the block meets the wall. There is no block here that meets the wall. Uh, am I just... Are we just completely missing something? Or is this some other part that it's talking about? Let's see. Little English. Climb up beyond. 
jump down the ramp and to the illuminated area just beyond. I think I was talking about, well, over here. Hmm. Are there something there? Yeah, not down, not that part. And I think it's talking around here. Mm -hmm. Two scorpions look in the past and beyond. There were two scorpions here, if I remember correctly. Hmm. So, are we just completely blind to something? There is nothing there that is connected to the water that we can climb out. Or, wait. Am I overthinking? I may not be surprised if you are. No, I was thinking like that maybe there was something over here that we can climb out, but very obviously not. Hmm. Okay, is this from some other version of the game or something where they made changes? Let's see. In Christmas, uh, the water where the block meets the wall on the other side of the platform. Running jump to the block ahead. Okay, this is the right side of the platform, not the left. Or wait. Am I an error? Okay, two tiki torches, no torches in sight there. Okay, yeah, that, that error in the guide. Uh, okay. Well, we know how to get up here now, and it's not through the bloody boat. Okay. Now, that was a stupidly easy solution to what... Well, then again, it was the same with that stupid propeller blade. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, the... The propeller blade was the, one of the less obvious ones. Okay. That... Jumping through that spray should probably have hurt a ton, seeing as, well, it, it's superheated lava. Let me leave Magman at the moment. Maybe it more should have killed. Yeah, like, that would burn through you. Oh, like that. Like, were we at full health or almost full health there? No, I think you took a lot of damage. I think your health is red. Yeah, and I think it was mostly green before, so it ate through two entire bar <laughs> health rings, I think. And I, think yeah, he, I, like, I feel like this was the moment we should have kept our mouth shut. I feel like the, the game heard us. Yeah. Uh oh. Yep. Okay, I was thinking we'd turn around and whip back. <laughs> okay. At the least, we weren't too far away. Just oh, one God. almost aneurysm out of frustration. <laughs> it's distance. Yeah. Uh, no. yeah. I have to say this. You saw... you. But this just happened. You remember the bridge you just walked uh, over to start to fall apart? Yeah. I think that was one of the drops I expected to happen on the last episode. Yeah, before you got the hammered. Hammer. Uh, yeah, I, I put most of the clips that we get from streams, I put those in the on the Discord server as well, on their, well, uh, vids, clips, and shows, the channel, uh, <laughs> there. And, uh, yeah, what we noticed, what the both of us noticed, actually, was that uh, yet we, the hammer was actually in view for a few, for a few moments as we were approaching at the top of the view, but the both of us were keeping our eyes on the tiles, expecting them to fall away. <laughs> yeah, due to one did that, that earlier. Uh, so be, a little fake out, maybe, but <laughs> we still got a laugh out of it. Yeah. Also, we should put those short uh, clips onto YouTube, I feel like. Yeah, we could give them the shots. Let's see, where even did that fucking boulder come from? It seems okay. like many people will watch the sh uh, shorts. 
Yeah, they are, well, very short to watch, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, and kind of seem to help uh, to, to find audience. Oh, it came from the left. Yeah, yeah move. Did we just... We got just... <laughs> We just got hit by a bit of debris, I think. Wait, it, re it reloaded a new boulder? No. <clears throat> oh. Let's see. Oh, for, for a moment, you fall, we're about to fall down. What's this? At the least, we'd have a safe closer to here then. But yeah, I'm. I'm I wasn't keeping an eye on our health there, but I. Pretty sure I heard Indy go out. So I think he got hit by a stone shard or something. I thought it was you. Nope. Yep. Hmm. Nope. I had a feeling there was something supposed to be coming. Now the question is did it spawn before or after we grabbed the coins? I think he crawled out from under that. Can we even... Okay, it's just a spawn point for the scorpion, I think. Let's see, is this where we came from? This is where we came from. Okay. So, then we head this way. Let's... And... Oh, hello. Very nice boat. And now that opens. And now we have to deal with security. They tend to uh, You were the battle fucker. The, the, that felt That felt kinda underwhelming. Yeah, security they do tend to be pretty stingy with uh, security. Oh come on! Hey <laughs> But yeah when you see the two rules such a big old door open you speak Oh dear, here comes something big. Tiny scoop. Uh, oh, actually, these scoops are already big, but they're not. It, they should go giant scorpions. <laughs> oh. Okay. Was just to say, don't swim it. <laughs> just to say, don't swim it with its mouth. And what happens? I was trying to grab this machete. Uh, what? Two of you? Maybe inside its mouth. Okay, now we're just getting nibbled to death. This place obviously is not sized for sharks. Okay. Just moving on. Come on, Indy, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Or, wait, is there... Okay, I think there's a flow coming out of that, preventing access, actually. That was just to release the freaking sharks. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Nope, well, we know where the key is now. And we can go grab it. We did see it earlier, but we didn't. We couldn't get a good enough angle on it to see that it actually was a key. I, th I thought it was some sort of artifact. Well, technically, if a key is old enough, it counts as an artifact as well. But you get my point. Yeah, though it still might be important. It really doesn't look very much like what a key. Have we here a strange key. Yes, strange. <laughs> strange is the word, Doctor Jones. Yeah, that's. Do you know what those boats are called? Don't. 
Mm, no, but I know there are things like trimarines, which have three of those. Which is used a lot in the in the region. So I guess you could say this is a yeah a version of that with two. I kind of like those. Yeah, they are very stable from what I understand. I also get to see boats like that in uh, Moana and such. And what have oh, we yeah, that, here? That, that was a good movie. However, I mean, I, I shared the same opinion as my father. The movie would be a newer board with less songs and more focus on the story. Hmm, well, it is a Disney movie, so of course there's going to be songs in it. Yeah, no. I say this, I think we all are relieved of one thing didn't happen. It was a very big concern when Disney bought Star Wars and Lucasfilms. And that made musicals in Star Wars? <laughs> yes. It was actually memed and juked about by other uh, shows. I mean, I forgot what a late, I mean, a late night show joked about it, made even a skit about it. I'm out of room here. But yeah, even, even some Swedish comedians made uh, skits about it. Or the Star Wars having Disney songs. Uh, luckily, they didn't go for that. And I'm pretty sure we can't jump that distance. So. I what can we do? Feel they didn't. Probably did it because they, um, someone over there saw the jokes about it and they realized. Let's not do that. Well, plus, it wouldn't fit with uh, the whole thing as, <laughs> unless they made a self parody or something. Yeah. Like, the folks at Disney can be pretty stupid, but not that stupid. Yeah, like, I don't mind if there's some songs in Star Wars, just not in Disney style. It's when they're doing the Disney style, it's a problem. Now I'm, now I'm trying to reimagine, like, the movies, if they were made like a Disney musical. <laughs> the Emperor bursting out into a villain song in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the, the Senate. <laughs> Uh, oh, you mean Dark Sidious? Yeah. I was very wondering which emperor he is referring to. <laughs> My first thought was the Emperor for Emperor's Groove. <laughs> okay, now now we need now we need a version of Star Wars, but every character has been swapped out with some other character from a Disney movie, with Cusco being the Emperor in llama form. Oh, good gods, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be utterly hilarious. Yeah, uh, th that one was actually a good decent move as well, uh, Empress New Groove. Yeah, oop. Oops. Uh, oh, bloody heck, it's a, is it like you're playing Minecraft all over again. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing the ancient indigenous people uh, built their scaffolding with TNT inside. It's even more like you play Minecraft again. Uh, speaking of, I have been binging that a bit lately. Uh, Why not this? On the, not on the all the mod seven wall that we have, but on a server with a few friends. Uh, oh, t it's Tatum's server actually. <coughs> and they're running a mod pack called Medieval, but though we've been, we've added it to put in some mods that some folk of us like, like create and such. Uh, let's just say I've been enjoying it a lot. I've, I've been night owling that a lot. Yeah, so you've been playing that. I thought you, I thought you were just testing it. Or you said what the bad part? I did not know you would play it with Tatum. No, let's see. What can we actually do and not do when the lava is high? I think we need to yeah, we need to move that movable block down there to somewhere where we can make use of it while the lava is up high. So, let's see where we might need a block like that. Uh, I just realized, 
Will this work? Good. Well, we we're blocking the we're blocking the outflow, so of course the flow is going to start pooling up and well push over the edges, and okay. then it continues on down. I mean more of the entire thing. But would lava be able to just flow through that without destroying the stone itself? Depends on the stone, because there are some there are some types of stone that uh, have a much higher of a melting point than you know what you get in lava and such. The question is, is this the correct stone? Yeah, presumably. Now let's. Hopefully, a hey. what stone would be strong enough? And granite? I'm not sure. Wikipedia probably has a page on it or something like uh, <clears throat> metal type, no rock types sorted by uh, their melting point or something. It's... Probably, uh, probably even some YouTube videos about it. Oh, okay. The lava has scorched off all the decoration from the stone. Neat little detail. Okay. We actually need to go. I don't like that. Now I'm nervous that you... Please don't fall. <laughs> it seems to time exactly each time you say something with that. Let's see, there's a little alcove there. <laughs> That looks breakable, so we can use Furgon's parts. Okay, I was expecting to just drop down and grab onto the ledge, but nope. You dropped down and exploded. And you're we're stuck in back Minecraft. A bit. Wait, what? No. Oh. Yeah, we, 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 it was only a bit of chip damage, but he did take a tiny bit of damage there. Yeah, he got a shock. Right, flying right at his behind. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> okay. Does this basically mean you got spanked by a boulder? <laughs> Uh, not in those words, but uh, it does prove that Indy's ass is rock hard. What's this? Uh, coins, I believe? And dead Harry. Uh, what's with the engine noise? Uh. Okay. It sounds a bit like a backup generator or something. Oh, you, you can see the scorpion in, in the back, or you could see the scorpion in the back. Okay. I think I think we're supposed to be able to see this the sharks pop up there or something. Uh, in the priorities, the one that is at your ankles first. Hmm. Okay, now he is. Can we take a shot at you first? Go. There you go. Now, this should... time we're going to save whilst we're yeah. there. Yeah. We just to stay down. Pull this one out. Should have pulled that earlier. Also, I'm not supposed. I don't think shark teeth are supposed to be pointing outward like that. It makes them look even more derpy. Yeah, like sure they will. Some of them can just. Well, depending on the species, almost look like they move their jaws outwards, but not in that awkward angle. The only one I think that could do something like that would be a goblin shark. 
And these are clearly not goblin sharks. I think those have a lot more of a pointy nose. Like looking a bit um, like a marlin. Yeah, they, they are, that is kind of why they're called goblin sharks. Or alternative, also be known as tengu sharks, it's apparently. A key. Okay. Due to the Japanese found them similar to the red tengu masks. <laughs> okay. So here we go again. I should scroll down more with those since the new stuff gets put on the top. Yeah, and also, I also almost forgot. We got a new follower. Hey, uh, Jester Keaton. Thank you. Late with this, but thank you for the follow. Yeah, thank you for the follow. I hope you will enjoy our show. Let's well, see. sit back, laugh, and enjoy seeing Helian put himself in danger. Discolored spot here. Is that where we need to put this thing? There's so much going on. Every time I think of saying something, something else happens and I get distracted. Yeah, welcome to real life where nothing waits for you. Probably should have saved before that jump just in case. So let's do that right now. Oh dear. And there's another spot here. Okay. Nice little hint. Otherwise, we probably would have needed to uh, trial and error where these things need to go. But yeah, environmental hint that shows where it needs to go. Hmm. I'm a bit curious if it would stay this way if we flooded the place. Or if, like the blocks, it would lose its color. Which would also ruin the hint. You kind of had something to wonder the thought process of whoever built this place. Like, I'm guessing yes, the primary I thought was keep those jackasses out. Yeah, um, to be able to sign up, yes, I know it's key to with designing it, but it's kind of fun to think of the in-game universe explanation. Yeah. If a place is well designed, uh, it will be built more f partially as a level and partially as a quote-unquote real-ish place for immersion's sake. That will yeah. make it, yeah. That will make it a lot more memorable than just a series of corridors and such. Yeah. Do I can guess that ladder is kind of tricky? Do that is kind of something Diablo does well. If you think about it. No. Uh, you have played the Diablo games, haven't you? I'm not actually sure if I ever played any of them. I know I have an original copy in the drawers over there, along with the strategy book from it. Are you telling me you not even play Diablo 1? Nope. Oh, do you... Okay, I can't... I, I can't believe I've seen this. Sweet summer child. You basically escaped a childhood trauma. No, can that be? You haven't m met the butcher. I think I might have heard of a King Diablo character called the butcher. Yeah. Is that hey, Pudge? Was... What? Yeah. No, that's not Pudge. Is a different. <laughs> There's no connection to Sedona and uh, Diablo. <laughs> Why was I making that connection? Oh dear. There is slight connection stands due to sort it out as a game mod for Warcraft 3, but uh, for, for still, almost went Swedish there, still wrong franchise. Yeah. And even but Warcraft yeah. 3 doesn't have connection to Diablo. More of just the same company made it, that's all. Yeah. But yeah, Bushel is in the first game, and in the third game, but 
Maybe people remember the butchers sp very specifically for the first game. For many younger players met him and had a very similar reaction. And that was... Oh my god, it's killing me. More of... When you, uh, he's in a room with a full of impaled corpses eating and all that. But once you open it, you hear his voice. And he has been known to scare people shitless. Even now what? I had to run to the bathroom because I got so scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we can put Diablo on the maybe to stream list. Just to see if that has an effect on me. Uh, maybe? But yeah. He, he, you can say the butcher is kinda infamous. While he looks scarier in Diablo 3, he didn't, didn't have the same... Voice? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if it is the same voice or not, just... I feel like the, the reason it was even sc the scary factor for the first game was due to... Yeah, you don't expect that voice the first time you directly when you open the door. Yeah, I think Especially I the words. Uh, ah, I, I, somewhat, I, I think I somewhat remember the name because I saw Josh Drive Hayes do one of his uh, Was It Any Good uh, <clears throat> videos on Diablo 1, I think. And I did he think... use the sound file? <laughs> Not sure, actually. But, yeah. I can say this. Do look it up, and you can see why it would scare kids. They were not expecting it. For it was probably one of the few really terrifying jump scares I had as a kid from a game. Yeah, that reminds me. I need to look through the physical copies that I have again to see what might and might not be upcoming with Showcase Sunday. I already looked at what digital copies or digital games I have on at the moment, or available, but I forgot to check the physical copies. Yeah. And... Hello, Hello there, Moon. Moon. <laughs> We said it at almost the same speed. <laughs> uh. yeah. we, we are at times a little bit too much in sync. Sometimes it's hilarious. Uh, what? Uh, go ahead. As I, sometimes it's hilarious how we think we are, and other times it's almost concerning. I, I might need to start asking my mother if we have some separated family in Sweden. Yeah, as I, uh. from what I know we might have. Just our grandfather on my dad's side might broken off. I don't know why he broke off. For, uh, from the Dutch family line? My it's... father don't really speak about my granddad uh, that much. Okay, exile. Is there a little something over there? No or... idea. Okay, and that puts a reminder in that I still need to re uh, resize the uh, chat box. Why am I getting this creepy feeling? Yeah, good thing that he stopped, because I probably would have run straight through. Yeah. But wait, didn't you say you might have Swedish relatives? You know, I, I know for certain that I have relatives in Canada, and but I don't know where. Uh, really? No. Oh, okay. Just avoid. Whoa. I thought it well, looks like the commies got here first. Wait, how did? Hi, Indy. Welcome to my little hot house. Sophia. Sophia. How the hell did you beat us here? How the hell did you unlock? How the hell did you lock the door behind you? Look what I found. Or did A they? Kit. They probably dug their way in somewhere. Did they cheat? Uh, probably. Hmm. Also, I think it's kind of funny, but 
What would be more of the well, cutscene? So let's wait for this. Sophia, what are you doing here? Same thing you are. I found the door. Let's go. Wait. I'm not looking for a partner. Too dangerous. Who said we're partners? The company has its rules, Indy. I don't tell you everything. Be careful here. I know you don't believe in my psychic powers, but I sense danger. I've been around long enough to believe in almost anything, even nuts like you. Don't worry, I'll dodge the commies. No, not them. Something else. Something strange. Quick draw. Oh. Did they just do a Temple of Doom reference? I'm not actually sure. But <laughs> I, I think you should have focused less on the strange feeling and more on the fucker on the opposite side of the, the opposite side of the door. Yeah, for, the, the way she screamed sounded like, the, so much like the blonde uh, singer screaming Submission. in that movie. First okay. aid. Could be that. Uh, uh, also, can we just say about how his reaction to the psychic power and all that? We did not know he had that opinion of them until the Crystal Skull movie. What is that? So it might be something he only said in this game and the comics, perhaps. Yeah, I, I know that Sophia is a character that also shows up in the two d the point and click uh, indie games, or at least one of them. And I think her being a psychic plays a part in that as well, with indie being disbelieving of that. Also, we have what is supposed to be some sort of AK-47. Doesn't sound like one. It looks a bit... I don't think that's an AK-47. It looked more like a perforated barrel. It's, it's smaller. Actually, is this that PPSH gun, but without a drum magazine? Yeah, it might be a modified version, I guess. And this is where we would need the drum. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, our friend... The werewolf, not a drink. <laughs> Though I think that well, that would be appreciated all the same. I say, having never drunk any rum. Slave. There again. I only drink alcohol free drinks. Uh, um, him? Hmm? Elf? Yeah, keeping an eye on it. I think, I think I'm going to use the the trauma kits first before I do. This looks interesting. Okay. Certain death that way. Yeah. Or just an agent uh, crossing guard. It's... I very much doubt that any of these are going to open on their own if we try them. Is this? Uh, they they did dig them their way in. Really, in the that shooting p position. Th oh bloody heck! I was hoping, I, I was expecting us to still be running away, not that he already sp spun around. <laughs> yeah, but... I, 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 I don't know why it bothers me to see the, the way he stands and shoots with a gun. Well, you would technically just go and try to put it with both hands for stability, or at least try to find cover. Just stand straight with the 24 or just pew pew. It looks so... Action-y. Less action and more... unnecessary prideful. Uh, like, oh, you know challenge. 
fuck you. Get away. It's... It just gets worse when everyone does it. This wall looks like it's ready to crumble. Obvious hate is obvious. Oh, there you go. Almost forgot. Ah. Hmm? I think I know how to say Noon's name correctly. Noon? Uh, Noin. That makes me. Most because the th accent. there's a there's a hey. YouTuber who does micro videos, and one of the friends is called Noin. <laughs> okay. Do we have any reason to want to go down here, or is that just death? Okay, we can go there. Okay, I was half expecting that jump to be just a bit too short. <laughs> oh. Glad it ain't. But who designed this? Like, I wonder, whoever designed that... Bamboo ladder, if they ever try that. Explosive explosives. Ow. Uh, what? Uh, we got hit by debris again. Uh, let's see. Uh, but but it's new in, like new in. Okay. Do it more of a U sound. Okay. All right. Let me say this. I haven't seen this character's name spelled out, so it might be and with an O for all I know. Yeah, like noon. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I, I I could probably show you a video about uh, about them sometime. Okay, for now, we're just going to pick up every bullet that we can find. I think it's safe to say that uh, we'll be set with this ammo for a long time. And also, hello there. Oh no. Jump for joy. Some more firepower. Stop, stop, stop. There's a key there. What's this? A key. A Did key? you miss that? Wait, 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 wait. There's more. There's more over there. A bucket. This can... is indeed bucket. <laughs> we can't pick up the bucket. Hmm. Something's in there. <clears throat> I'm out of room here. Okay. Oh, I wanted to keep <clears throat> noon in the bucket. There's no room to maneuver. <clears throat> There's no room to maneuver. Okay. Uh, that's probably going to be a shortcut back to here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, I just realized something. We probably could have spotted that little ledge that we missed. <laughs> We're like the last half, and the, not that long, but for the last part of the last stream, we probably could have spotted that little ledge if we used the map because it lines, it has lines for uh, height differences and such. Oh, uh, you're right. So probably should try to use that thing more. Okay. So now we have a key, we have some grenades. And we've got pesky Russians to kick out of this volcano. Yeah, you're still to remember out of the volcano, not in. I was half expecting that to be a god. It is metal, so it is probably a big ass gong of some sorts. Hill, you should be happy they didn't ricochet back to your face. Something is holding this door closed. Wait, so we can just interact with the doors to see if they're opening? Uh, oh no, now I have a flashback from something you learned from a Warhammer video. And that be? Uh, it's a okay. door, but I can't seem to open it from this side. I mean, give a very short version of it. Some key space marine, board a ship, they grab an pure god. They want to grab him, shouts in his face, voice the calm room. 
body that the Imperial is, is so some panic that he actually takes his pistol, shoots his chaos mirror in the forehead, but the bullet ricochet from the helmet back to himself and instantly kills him. I, I think I have heard of a meme with where's the calm room or something like that. That's the one. That's probably one. For one of the other kids with me was there and so he started laughing. Okay. And yeah, I, I learned that from uh, Wes Hammer. Wes, kind of nice and good. He's kind of new to the Warhammer uh, lore scene, but very pleasant. Hmm. But plus, I mean, he... He really seems like they're just a very friendly, friendly and all that. Cheerful and happy. Okay. Uh, let's have another try here. And it seems that we are just stuck with that generator noise it's for the door, moment. But I can't seem to open it from this side. Can we jump up there? It looks within grab range. Oh, come on. You should maybe grab that. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Just a little bit off on the ankle. There we go. This is where we need to head. Do we need to jump that or do we need to swing that? Wait, Helian, look over there at the rip wall. Hmm. Where? Don't you see the things in the rock? Yeah, the, the big ass grooves. <laughs> yeah, let's see. wait. We can't get onto those unless we. Hmm. Okay. Do we? Let's see. Is there some visible way? Wait, do we need to... Do we need to get this moved to be able to climb these? Yep. Uh. There's no room to maneuver. There's plenty of room to maneuver, Dr. Jones. There's no room to maneuver. Hmm. I can't push this any further. Okay, we're missing something here. Do we need a bucket? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. I don't think this worked last time, but let's give it a little shot to see if it'll get rid of the noise. Yeah. No. And if we jump back to one earlier. Let's see. Yes. I know it's already here as well. Okay, we we might be stuck with that for the entire rest of the level then. Hopefully only for the level and not... But imagine that we got stuck with... You know what? I shall not say it. For if I say it, I might jinx it. It might happen. Hmm. But I think you can guess what I was to say. Yeah, for the entirety of the game. Uh, you know what? This only you if the, you be the one jinxing it now. Now, if it does get stuck, I'll jump back to an earlier stage off screen and just play until where we, you know, where we end this stream. So we need that key for something, but we, I don't think we've seen a keyhole in there. Actually, is there enough space behind this thing to get up? Yes, there is. Sneaky. And there's a... I wonder, does that? Yeah, this doesn't connect to the other one. We're far too far away from that. 
But this might lead somewhere. There. Now it might at least to some coin. Sure, useful when we need it, but was not exactly what we were uh, hoping for. Yeah. What? Wait, what do I want to say? We, we are pirates. We should be overjoyed for some treasure. It's, but there is bigger treasure deeper into this temple. So we need to find where we can get the that. Anything here we missed or something? Okay, he doesn't want to aim at that barrel for some reason. Let's see, is there anything back here we needed a key or something? That just goes back to the big lava room. Yeah. Okay. But something I keep forgetting to say, ask about. I just realized that uh, Sophia may have reinforced that now. What else is in here? Yeah, we've already had an ice elemental. Are we going to deal with a fire elemental? Lava elemental? If even elemental. Are we really just missing something here? Let's see, that is a dead end. This just leads to two dead ends. Or maybe it is just that block that is being stubborn. I hope that isn't a glitch or anything that it refuses to be pulled out. Because that would kind of break the game. That was the case. Yeah. Before I forget, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. We, if I remember this right, we will either start an early long stream in the afternoon or in the evening. I can't hold any further. Yeah. Because yeah, tomorrow will mark the second year anniversary of uh, our streaming theater. Or about the second anniversary. And yep. let's see. <clears throat> I'm out of room here. Our... I know that they said that, and I don't even know why, he has been night owling. <laughs> it has... Uh, originally, he was to start early in the afternoon. Like at one or something, but... After not knowing why he's up so it. long, yeah, having the evening is probably a good backup plan. <laughs> I can hear you giggle from here. Yeah, let me let me check here. Is this thing just glitched or? Let's see. No, I don't want the freaking keyboards. Let's see. Avoid sharks. Is it a? Spiders, unlock doors. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. That's it. That. This opens the exit. Okay, that is that part. And it's counting this part as a difference. Let's see. <laughs> no. Okay, Indian Sophia, yeah. Mysterious danger, and she gets captured, yeah. Okay. Uh, push will... Yeah, that's that secret that we just found. Uh, more soldiers. Yes. <laughs> Key attached to the table. Divine here here conceal a pushable block. Pull it out. But it refuses to be pulled. Okay. There's no room to maneuver. So it is glitched. OK. 
Okay. Um, let's see, how far do we need to go back to escape the annoying noise? Further than this? Yeah, very far back. Oh. Oh. Probably about half an hour back, almost. I think, yeah, this... The sound is the sign that something has glitched. So I'm guessing that is a part of what is going on. Okay, here we're free. So let's continue from here for the moment. And make some regular saves to see if we get that noise or not. And this time we're unscathed by the debris. Actually, screw the treasure, we're going to we're just going to go fast through this. There's enough treasure to collect in other parts of the game. Okay. Wait, save. I'm not that quick still. We'll save once this is done and we're at the door. Otherwise, we can keep an eye out, or rather an ear out, for when the glitch starts. Wait, you think the sound is related to uh, the stone block? Uh, to whatever is... Something is causing something to glitch. And I what think... Am we here? Yeah, we are supposed to be able to right. pull that block. What's that? So, okay, now it's... Okay... Oh yeah, I remember now. It started around here. Did it start from pushing the button? Or picking up the gold? The button, I think. If, if that starts to glitch, then we might be completely screwed since that's the required action. Yeah, no. Okay. Before you press the button, save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Killing that scorpion what sets it off? Or is getting closer to that place what sets it off? Let's not kill the scorpions this time and see if anything still happens. If if this if the game glitches out because of one specific scorpion, that's uh weird. I just hope this sound glitch is not related to the stone block glitch. I think it is, because we are supposed to be able to pull it out. Okay. I, I think it might actually be just that one specific fucking scorpion. You mean you killed a... You got a curse on a scorpion? A glitch curse? Mm, sounds like it. We'll just have to see if it actually, well, has an effect on anything beyond here. What if, the heck? That's, if that is the case, it, not that. Oh, wait, we need to go collect it, of course, first. Okay. Hmm. That's if, if that is really, it, it, we do we say the same thing again? Basically, in different words, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What 
have we here? A strange key. In this strange key, just what kind of what? How does that, that kind of glitch happen? That you, if you kill a mob, it will glitch out. Like, like I get you kill important NPC somehow. I, that I can understand. Of a mob that attacks you. Yeah, uh, I, I have no idea really. It is, it is a glitch, so it, it's not supposed to happen in the first place, because sometimes code will just be freaking weird like that. Like, one thing that is connect, isn't connected to another part at all will cause it to break down for some reason. That is why QA is such an important task. Yeah. But I just... Why is this... Why is that specific scorpion like a lodestone for a door... Or later on. On that. Kill? Hmm? What if that is not the only thing it glitch out? Could be. We are just running on a big assumption at the moment that the audio glitch and the, uh, the block glitch are related. But we will only find that out once we get back to that point. Which is going to take a bit. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Uh, I want to see things from him and realize this game is not really doesn't really have a physic fixes engine like the Tomb Raider. Uh, not a dynamic one at the very least. Yeah. So the game should be running in decent speed. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think a line of code just crossed somewhere for some reason. At, at the very least, we don't have a pot pots putting in our ear the entire time now. Yeah. That's, if that is actually related to everything, we will well, find out in the next 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. You don't forget to save and all that. Yeah. Actually, you should probably save now, while we have have gotten rid of it. Uh, yeah, let's go to the button, then we'll save there. I would say save it before you push the button. Yeah. Oops. Okay. 6.66. Really? Six point six six. Really? Yes, really. I just noticed there's a gap on the left there. I'm guessing there's stuff that you can find down there. And again, the high explosive walkways. <laughs> Can we just drop down from here without getting hurt? Should be low enough for that. Yep, small time save. And then we just go across, go down, and yeah, don't fall in the lava. What was I did? I feel like they just added these Probably stones for tension. Anxiety. Anxiety. It is working. But it feels like an overkill considering... Yeah, I think you can see below you. Yeah. And A bit of overkill. Okay, not all of the markings have been washed off the block. Okay. Maybe something, a clue for something later? Yeah, I doubt it, but it is just a nice little detail that it the stone changes when partially submerged in lava instead of being un completely unaffected by it. Yeah. 
here. Careful. I said careful. It starts to shoot side to lag each time you jump. <laughs> so half you're expecting for half a second for me to just run off the ledge. More of a, not to run off the ledge. More of, is he gonna catch the ledge or not? Why am I getting this creepy feeling? Okay, just avoid the very obvious pressure plates. So why did we get hit whilst we were crawling through here? That neither of these is low enough to have hit us. Well, yeah, that looks is kind like of weird. Hi, Indy. Welcome to my little hothouse. So, how did you get in here, Sophia? Hmm. Wait. A medical kit. Hey? Ain't Sophia in the Temple of Skulls? The Temple of Doom, you mean? I don't think no, no, so. No, 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 wait. I'm dumb. I'm... The Crystal Skull. Maybe? Uh, I, I know there is one of his former quote unquote friends in there. Let's Sophia, look it up. what are you doing here? Same thing you are. I found the door. Let's go. Wait. I'm not looking for a partner. Too dangerous. Who said we're partners? The company has its rules, Indy. I don't tell you everything. Be careful here. I know you don't believe in my psychic powers, but I sense danger. I've been around long enough to believe in almost anything. Even nuts like you. Don't worry, I'll dodge the commies. No, not them. Something else. Something strange. And again, we win the crit draw. I had to say, I think, I think you Lucas Art a salute for actually making mouth animation and hair movements. Like, usually when character has a bit of shorter hair like her, most animators will not bother animating the hair. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab this. And what have we here? I didn't manage to Some look medicine. up if she is in that or not because I was copying hey. over the uh, First aid. the site oh, from uh, this the guide that we were using. I was copying that over from the uh, semi from the temporary browser to a full page uh, on my phone. I don't think she appears in the movies. Grab that. Yeah, but wasn't there a psychic hey, person in the movie? Yeah, there was a Russian psychic. But yeah, not a Hapgood, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. This has been a, quite a while when I saw that movie. Oh, get an officer. Okay, now we're back to this noise, but luckily it should only be proximal. Actually, yeah, that that must have been a uh, serious glitch the earlier than for. These are all the way over here. Yeah, I think I think the game may have gotten confused about our position or something like that. I, I, I think what when what's happened is that uh, for some reason the killing that one scorpion confused the game as to where we were as a physical model and that because of that it uh, didn't allow us to pull the block back because yeah wherever it thought we were 
if there wouldn't yeah, there wasn't enough room behind it behind us to actually pull the block. That, that is my theory at the moment. Also, let's pull this thing out. But we'll see yeah, if won't. that is the case or not in a moment. Or if it might be the case. Okay. Out of ammo. Bad time, bad time. There we go. The shots were hitting the tree. A very, a very bulletproof tree that was. Hmm. Something's in there. There's no room to maneuver. Okay. I just so. realized. What if you're not supposed who's to shoot the barrels hmm. yeah. the, the, think about it did you notice something odd when the barrels blew up don't think so I was more looking at the Russians I will tell you what was odd when they blew up uh, is it barrel teams or something it's one of the rock pieces a lot of rock pieces. Some more yeah. firepower. But those should have uh, despawned by What's now. What's this? Uh, oh, they I did. think I see where you're going with this. That maybe something got lost in there or something. More. I think you're supposed to move the barrels to the rock and loosen it. Probably yeah, think... due to you shot it over there. It got confused. Yeah, the, this game isn't that advanced. Uh, uh, let's see. Hmm, perhaps. Let's see. I'm looking up a video on this at the moment. Uh, Infernal Machine, Volcano. Is that Volcano, not Volcano? There. Okay. I mean, if this is just a glitch, know? we might need to. Uh, yeah, we might need to call the stream early and see if there is some sort of way to fix this. Let's see. More snow. Uh, it's Mars and it's snowing. Uh, are we going to enter the phase again where the snow decides to mostly skip winter and come up spring? Okay, that's too far for... That's too far... But, hmm. Okay. I may not be surprised we have a snowy Easter again. Praise the bunny. Getting closer to where we are. Hmm. That's a treasure behind the gong. It's moving forward a bit more. Wait, what's... Did I miss something? Oh. Okay. It's not glitched, is it? Yeah, I don't know if it is or isn't. Hmm. Uh, there is something else that the video did show. I might have skipped past it or something. But for now, there is another way that we can actually progress at the moment. Yeah. In my opinion, so that thing won't work until you progress correctly. And maybe it needs to be pushed from the back. Either yeah. way, what we need to do here is, well... This looks interesting. Wait. I think you can guess. I was to uh, tell you you could uh, to use the key on a to never mind go may you not activate the scorpion curse again 
Uh, hopefully not. Okay, at the very least there's stuff we can do here. We'll be short. Hmm. Do we continue for here or do we load back? Nah, no, we, we would have the glitch again. No, <laughs> just not. Yeah, that's not. And also, oh, we should probably oh, have a hammer. Fast. Maybe I need some help with this. Okay. But both of these, we should probably save before we push buttons. Yeah, it wasn't actually the, a button that caused glitches so far. But yeah, we need to have like a periodic 10 minute save or something. Yeah, that's certain. why I suggest before we push buttons for. Yeah. Okay, we still got enough time to make some good progress at the very least. Okay. Oh, great. Hold on, where is this dropping us off? Is this new? New means possible Oi. enemies. Yep. Likely enemies. Okay. And a friend. Hello, Sophia. You okay? How do I look? Like a fish in a net. So much for your danger detector. Find the key. Don't let me down, Jones. I'm your ticket out of here. Trust me. Uh, did we actually pick it up this time? Yes, we did. <laughs> Wait. It was made of what? Aluminium. Oh, no. It's gonna break. Come on, don't be this picky. Is this really not There's the key? Keyhole here. I just need the key. And we see why Jones is the one with the PhD, okay, apparently. I found the key. Took you long enough. Be nice, or I won't use it. You better. You need my help. You're right about that. There's a gate up ahead. I can't get through by myself. Thanks, Finley. Now I'm going to take a good look around. Wait. See you soon. I think I think we're right next to the elevator there. Any goodies that she left behind? They really just stuck her in an improvised closet. Okay, we can't go back up. No new ambushes or anything like that. Okay. Here you are. Find anything? Nothing spooky, if that's what you mean. What's the switch? It opens the gate up there. Let me work my way into position, then push. Say when. Okay. I need a little bit. I very much doubt we'll do much work with Sophia. Push, Sophia. Still got it? Yes, but the danger is farther along. He'll be fine. For now. I like her optimism. Okay, that... That was a very mixed dialogue. Both good and with bad lines. Yeah, is that, is that a breakable wall over there? Also, save. Okay, six point. Let's just continue on. There. Yeah, I, I mean, say, the games so far have had quite decent dialogue. Just this one 
felt a, a little bit off. Uh, sorry, what? A bit stilted? Yeah. Okay, there shouldn't be any more Russians past here. That, that is very bright. Looks like it's ready to crumble. Okay, we need to be in, like a centimeter closer for that. Let's see, we can climb back out from this. Okay. Oh crap. Pull that away and... Okay, if it wasn't for the gun, we would have made that. <laughs> Even with <laughs> my delayed reaction there. Yeah. This time, I was expecting the roof to crash on you. You know, like uh, the crushing room, but no. It's yeah. a, it was actually a falling floor. Okay, let's have a look this way then. Skulls, mystic signs, oh, they make me jumpy. Okay, again, these, I'm guessing if we try this again, it is just going to, ow, Point, poke us in the ass. What is this? What the okay, I thought we were done with them for the moment, but apparently not. You think they would have blocked off the? Uh, they would have blocked the gate open or something. Yeah, or at least put something the over the lava. Too bad he doesn't take very good care of his equipment. This thing needs a replacement fully. Yeah, we we're not going across with that. It would flip over to me and come loose the moment we tried. Oh, hello. I see how we're actually supposed to get past this without getting stung in the butt. Yeah, if we could reach that. Wait, it wasn't that an actual thing the Soviet Union was known for? What exactly do you mean? Not maintaining the equipment properly? Yeah. Uh, oh, we got someone in the chat. Oh. Hello, Wyvern Hammer. Uh, Hello, <laughs> that's Wyvern. an arrow in the knee. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hello, Wyvern Hammer, and welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> this is Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine that we're playing. A, yeah, a, a turn of the millennium game. So, 1999, I believe. Let's see. I know you're on Discord, I saw you playing a game. I haven't seen in like decades. <laughs> it makes sense since the game came out in like 99. Grab on. Damn it, Jones. Okay, we were at a wrong angle for that. Okay, at least we know what to expect. So we can, well, fail less. Let's see. It was the first computer game I bought with my own money. Okay, that isn't. <laughs> That is interesting. Oh, I've never beat it. Looks like it's ready to crumble. Well, All right. We plan. We plan to beat this. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hillian plans to beat it. I be co-commentating. Yes. Uh, short from any game-breaking glitches, uh, we we are going to beat this game. And damn it. Okay. The rumbling. T the rumbling. Turns us a little bit as we go. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I never beat this game uh, without cheat codes before, but hopefully I should be able to. We're playing it on the lowest difficulty for one, <laughs> and this still it kicks our ass here and there. And, yeah, th this game was the first ever interaction that I ever had with the Indiana Jones franchise, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's, it played the game before the movies. And... Come on. There we go. Uh, 
We're also planning to stream... <coughs> Pardon? We're also planning to stream The Emperor's Tomb. Uh, though, before we jump from that, from this to that, we will be kind of... We will be doing another Tomb Raider game. Uh, because the way we typically stream... Oh. Okay, shortcut. Uh, the way we typically stream... It, it's already crumbled, Dr. Jones. The way we typically stream things is that we pick two franchises or series and then we yeah, jump back and forth between games of them. And currently we're doing, well, in Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones. We've already done uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Uh, so once we're done with the Infernal Machine... Uh, once we're done with the Inferno Machine, we'll be, we'll be we will be moving on to Tomb Raider Legend. And after that, we go back to well, Doctor Jones. Now there is a officer around the corner here. There we go. Now then. We are in level 6, about. That is what I've been numbering the saves as. Let's see. Yep, 6. We had an audio glitch earlier. Now, it doesn't do it every time, but it does most times. The Undercut must have been here. Too bad he doesn't take very good care of his equipment. This thing needs a replacement fully. Yeah, that needs an extra wheel if it wants to stay on the rope. Uh, let's see, what can we actually do here? Where would we find... Oh, the map says where we can find one. Okay. I, I never actually knew that this game had a map. So, <laughs> that is going to be very useful for us. Let's see, it's marking over here. Wait, is Sophia back to let us out then? Let's see here. Oh yeah, my man. That caught me off guard first time I heard the music. Let's see. Is there any? Is there really nothing here? Not even anything up. Oh, hello. Is this a way back? Um, nope. nope. There we go. Okay. Let's not mess up this jump. Okay. Oh, was closer than I thought. Hello. <laughs> jump, Dr. Jones, jump. Aha. Yeah, we need to be pretty careful with the I'm jump since get. the, the ledge going is a bit picky at what angle it will actually allow us to grab. Personally, I would say if this game were to ever be remade, I would suggest it be similarly... You know, the controls would be similar uh, to uh, <clears throat> to the Tomb Raider games. To, like, a, yeah. Dr. Jones and the Inferno Machine Anniversary Edition or something like that. Like, just copy over most of the stuff from Tomb Raider Anniversary and such. Thank you for the mental image, Hillian. Of acrobatic Jones. <laughs> Not that acrobatic, but still. I don't think there's ever been an official some team reason this door won't open. Or something between uh, Jones and Crofts. I think some people would love that, but I will probably not, since there are different universes and all that. Sure, in different time and periods. Yeah, and, yeah, you know me and the uh, in crossovers. Let's see. We I prefer need to be crossovers here. that make sense. Like Spider-Man and Hulk crossover makes sense. It's the same universe and all that. But near Turtles a Batman? No, thank you. From That's where I heard that was a like. fun one. Is, is this box specifically being pointed out for some reason? It seems to be discolored. 
Maybe there's something underneath it. Uh, Maybe we can burst. Okay, Viper has written something I can't read. Uh, let's see. I can't decide how that would go. I'm presuming either the crossover idea I had or a modern version of this game. Oh, come on, other guy. Bat <laughs> Man T versus Batman was an awesome movie. Uh, that reminds me, actually. Give me a second here. Uh, it, it, you're going to grab my signboard, aren't you? I thought I... Actually, I thought I had my... I thought I had put that over here as well, but on this new scene, but apparently not. No, the, that's Drakir over there. Hello. Uh, okay, game, are you going to let me con get control back? Uh, Did you okay. break the game? Yeah, it looks like the game just didn't like that. Okay, give me a moment then to restart the game. It yeah, it is an old ass game, and even though this is the GOG version, it's still not entirely stable. So there, then GOG, wait for it to sync up. Shouldn't be too much lost. Yeah, but yeah, I, I moved the Batman, and uh, it doesn't want. I see a review of it. Just I don't know most. Crossovers just don't sit right with me, unless again they there's a it makes sense. Like Marvel characters having crossover with all the Marvel characters makes sense, and they are in the same universe. Yeah, I I think it's just fun to see what sort of shenaniganery you can get up to when uh, different universes collide. Yeah, I, I can get that. That I can get. Do I feel, feel like I it kind of lost on me due to I seen many bad crossovers as well? Yeah, that is a point. There's an idol there. Could grab and we also have the rule add addition to uh, fan fictions and such. Yeah, there are some pretty good crossover fan picks. Of course, not all of them. But there are still a very a good few. Yeah, but of the few, especially with how many people have done, you know, fan fix crossovers, if you get what I mean, it's hard to not get worried. Uh, what I just meant there was there are a, f a few good fan crossover fix. Let's see. Uh, I could show you a few. But for oh, now... I, I know what I know what you meant. I just tried to explain there was another variant that I also had to say without uh a lot of they, they use the same word for the regular fanfic with Fanfic. Um, erotic fanfic. Oh. Uh, oh, good God. Uh, why, they don't cross over Doom Guy with Superman? Yeah, that wouldn't make too much sense, yeah. Now, is there something we can grab onto here? We, I thought we could just climb back out of this, but apparently not. I, I think they have done a crossover with Godzilla and uh, Doom Guy. At least, maybe for a YouTube video. I'm not sure if it's an official comic or not, though. Uh, the comics typically go a lot wilder than uh, oh. <laughs> than anything an animation. But I don't think there's, to my knowledge, at least there is no Doom Godzilla stuff. Well, I I seen one on YouTube, so again, I don't know if it's an official comic or the YouTube just uh, paid someone to do a story with them and do the art for them. Room here. Yeah, probably just a uh, YouTube and, you know, fan work. Yeah, I, I can look that up and double check. I think it was one of the cases where 
Godzilla and Duke fought each other, but end up becoming allies instead when the demons arrived. That is typically how things go in a crossover a lot of times. They meet, they fight, they find, yeah, they fight, really find that they have a, uh, a common enemy and then they go beat that one up. Yeah. It, probably also why I don't like some crossovers because I've seen that uh, troop so many times. Uh, it's what happens in uh, Batman vs. Superman. Um, I think with the first Avengers movie, there was a short brawl. A few short brawls, but they figured it out pretty quickly with that, typically. Yeah. What? Ooh. A medical kit. Okay. Let's do it. Lucilla. I think that's a. I would not be surprised if oh. that's a thing. I think I realized what we need to do to bust this crate. Or not? Okay. Wait. I'm pretty certain that we would need to crack it open with this thing, but I guess it only works on rock and ice. Hmm. It looks movable. Yeah, but we can't grab oh, well, yes, on. We can't there. grab on to anything. I'm, I'm guessing that one of its sides is open. Yeah, we, it, it looked cracked open. So we just need to move the rest of the boxes out of the way. Okay. Let's push you in there. Play a little crate Tetris to get to what we actually need. Come on, there we go. Is that enough room? No, but we can't push this one. And then we can pull the other. Simple little puzzle. <clears throat> Pardon? At the very least, it isn't too uh, long or complex. Yeah. I wonder what it says. So um, that's why it looked a bit weird on one side. Yeah. It, <laughs> we just have to crawl in. What's this? A spare part. Okay. Now we can go further. Oh, it's for the poor. I thought it was the, it, one of those things you lose a tummy gun with. <laughs> No, it's not a, it's not a drum mag. Okay, you could have found it a lot earlier, but oh well. What did I mistake it for a split second for a drum mag? Why? Yep. <laughs> now we just have to get past the trap again. What is the whole deal with this here? Is that, is that entire side area just for that silver idol? Let's see, I saw... Ow. Okay, that guy is still on the, around the corner. Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of see what, where you're coming from there, Vivan. It took me a while to get used to hearing him healing his voice to you. <laughs> okay. Let's play mechanic. The Londonkov must have been here. Too bad he doesn't take very good care of his equipment. This thing needs a replacement pulley. Uh, can we push this into place? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's get up. Install the thing. Oh, hello. Okay. Is this the rifle? Uh -oh. the rifle. Okay, we're not getting that rifle. No. Without being interrupted. Okay, I'm ready to roll. Uh, 
Mouser. Uh -oh. There we go. Something else shooting. What? What? Okay. Did, would they just happen to prepare a new tunnel or. Yeah, we're the, fo the folks that over there that probably saw us and decided, okay, we've got explosives anyway. Let's get to that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was just confused why there was one with shades there for a moment, but then I heard the ticking. That was a grenadier. Let's shoot him already, Indy. A There's a lot of you here. Did he? Is that just a? Is that just a whole spawning Russians? Maybe. Okay, let's just grab some ammo and go. Oh yeah, as you probably say, for context earlier, Wagenhammer uh, commented that if he's weird for him to finally hear Hillian's uh, voice. Yeah, that, that can always be a bit odd. Like you, uh, you always expect someone. You you build a bit of a, a profile in your mind of how someone looks or sounds. Yeah, so I had moments where I guessed Rod somewhat correct when it came to a person's looks, but at times he was disastrously wrong. But well, maybe not disastrously, he was completely wrong, more like. But when it came to healing, I think I joked a few times what I imagined it would be like uh, Rainswood from this world. <laughs> and it sounds like the whole has stopped spawning Russians. I feel like I joked a few times about this, but when, so once I finally heard him, I don't know. <laughs> I should not say disappointed, just... Yeah. Maybe a bit sad that you didn't sound like Rinswood for some reason. Okay, yeah, the, the one with the glasses was a grenadier. A grenade? Okay, oh, that, that could have ended a whole lot worse. So, uh, let's bandage up. Also, how much ammo do we have for our weapons now? He says, okay. Bandage up. And it's a leaf. <laughs> 300 rounds for this thing. Yeah, th this is our primary weapon now. Holy. Okay. Now, without make turning this into a shooting gallery, let's go. Let's go. They really enjoy you using those uh, music clips. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, we can actually. It is iconic. So yeah. what? It, it is in these lead motif, as it's called. I think that is the correct term. Yeah. Uh, now the game is sold you again. Let's see. Yeah. Lead motif. It's basically a, a short, it's basically a character theme that is often reused or somewhat, changed somewhat. saw this place in any textbook, but somebody built it. Long ago, somebody built it, and then left. At least I hope they left. Yeah, we, we don't need to deal with any Atlantean bullshit in another game now. Yeah, uh, That's already been done in a different game. Hmm? This plenty of sriracha here. Uh, Move. 
I don't remember studying this in geology class. Less talky, more shooting. I guess we shouldn't ex expect that to do anything. Yeah, I was just asking, what the heck are you doing? What the heck do you think a pistol will do to that? Yeah, <laughs> just hoping. <laughs> okay. Open what? Can you annoy it to death? Uh, possibly. Okay. Yeah, as I was going to say, uh, Indy has already dealt with Atlantean bullshit in a different game. Which we may pick up another time. And that... <laughs> that was an overshoot. Uh, do you mean overjump? Okay, Palawan Temple this time, not the volcano. And we can't skip this. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put down a save once we dodge their rocky. For some reason, I just want to see uh, a Macarena every time he blows something up like that because I misspoke the, the first time we had it. Somebody built it long ago. Oh, somebody God. built it and then left. At least I hope they left. Uh, for a bit, for a bit of context, uh, I I used the wrong word to is, to describe what this thing looks like, uh, and I called it a Macarena. But that's the freaking John. That's the freaking song. Not the uh, maraca implement. Well, soon as I pull it out, maybe we can do that. Uh, to this. Move. I don't remember studying this in geology class. So that is a bit of an underreaction to, well, a rock monster, Doctor Jones. And uh, that worked a lot better. Yeah. Surprisingly. Okay, there was one other thing I was going to say. Uh, apparently, the company that made Sriracha has gotten themselves into some hot water. Uh, because apparently they tried to screw over their sole supplier of peppers. And, well, they didn't like that. So now they think they are dealing with a legal case and a shortage of peppers. Oh, bloody heck. They even moved the factory to be closer to the pepper farm. Let's see, Just some... to see money and be more environmental friendly. Okay. That a... Oh, bloody right. heck. <laughs> Ow. Like the moment before I press the jump button, it vanishes. Rest in hot sauce. Rest in hot sauce, Gillian. Uh, that, that reminds me now of the fake lava in uh, No One Lives Forever 2. Uh, <laughs> that just that just cracks me up. And I was uh, that you were concerned about Volkov after he got dunked into it, but then I had to remind you that we found a file earlier saying that the stuff is like only 20 degrees Celsius or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I almost forgot that. Okay, that one's going to vanish, and then this one's going to appear. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I did not like that game as much as the first, but it was still a good and funny game. Yeah, that, they played a lot of good things there, but... It did feel like much of the story took a hit. So this wall looks like it's ready to crumble. I was about to say something similar. And also, of course, the voice acting of some characters. Yeah, I, I think one thing that slightly annoys me about that game is that Kate looks a lot younger than she did in the first movie. Uh, not the movie, in the first game. I did, we can climb down? I didn't notice. But if you're right, then that is a design flaw. Like, like you don't make the character look younger. Unless it's a prequel. Like, she is supposed to be... Wait, did it just blow itself up? Okay, Geodude used self-destruct. <laughs> what? 
the heck? Okay, we can still get hurt by a bit of the rubble. Uh, but yeah, look, my, in the first, maybe it's just me misremembering a bit here, but uh, Kate Archer from the first No One Lives Forever looks like her face could be used you know, on the front of a snowplow. Uh, <laughs> There's a keel here. I just need the I key. I thought both her animated model looked good. Uh, it's or more a polygon uh, in the polygons and such. Well, do remember, in both games, she had the most work on compared to the other characters. Yeah, of course, since he was the first, yeah, the main character. And okay. they, I think he did say that her face animation were really impressed for the time. Yeah. Now, let's have a look here. We have a big ass door over that way. And a lot yeah. of frost. <laughs> oh, it, it, am I gonna start using that as a la joke for lava every time? Probably. Okay, there is somewhere we can climb this way. So I'm being careful with these jumps. Actually, there. I think about it. That you kind of makes more sense to use for the, these video game lavas for. Yes, we, we've talked about this almost to death at this point. But if uh, in reality, if we were this close to lava, we would be long dead from suffocation from the toxic gases. Yeah, we're and not also that... dead, just knocked out and well, then the heat will kill you. Yeah, and also lava is not not like a thin as water. No, it is literally thick. It, it is literally molten stone, so it is as thick as syrup. Who <laughs> is thicker? Yeah. It's... So, so yeah, it, ever since learning what, how lava behaves, most of the lava for me look more like a hot sauce or something. Well, technically you could... It, Technically, anything that is somewhat fluid could be used as a hot sauce, so you're not too far off. <laughs> oh dear. Do, 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 if it that mindset, it probably would make it lava levels a bit more foggy. There we go, just shoot that down, literally, before it can get down. Oh yeah, did I ever teach you how to say sauce in Swedish? I think you have mentioned it once or twice. Ooh, hello there. Yeah. Uh, knock knock. Sauce. Yeah, in Dutch it's sauce. Ooh, hello. Yeah, sauce. Ah. We'd say that in some accents. Okay. I think. Yeah, that, that also doesn't help <laughs> with how similar. Yeah, motherfucker. I did not notice that thing until it literally bit me. Yeah. I'm surprised it's here. Yeah. He, he be on guard for lava golems and whatnot, and a spider ambushes. Uh, yeah. That, that that's just awkward. Uh, be on the lookout for mythical uh, <clears throat> elementals. Get snapped by a freaking spider. Okay. Oh dear. At least we, At least have we can cook it. Actually, I think they may have a missed opportunity here. Oh. They should allow you to kick spiders and scorpions into the lava. <laughs> uh, throwing stuff into lava is typically pretty fun, yeah? And there's a poison kit over there. Or an antidote kit. Okay, let's go grab that and see if the key that we found fits with the door that we found. Uh, uh, where was I it? I beg your pardon. Yeah, let's go see if the key fits with the door. We, uh, the key we found fits with the door we found. Yeah, Something for like some reason you said uh, my name instead. 
Drakir, which made me go, wait, what? You found me and gonna use me at the door? What? Um, we could try using you as a lockpick, or at the very least, try and knock the lock out with your helmets. I don't mess with my helmet, lad. Yeah, I, I still need to. Hard I, bite? I still need to see someone about commissioning a new avatar for you. How do? Okay. I was going to say, how did I miss you? But you literally camouflaged into the rocks. What's this? Some medicine. Uh, but yeah, I was going to ask someone to... You know, okay, for a moment I thought all the sound vanished. But I was going to ask someone to... Well, com to commission a... Here's the sound back. To commission them for a new avatar for you, but... Uh, then they had a quick trip to the hospital because they had a bad allergic reaction, and I, I was going, I was, I thought it better to just leave them be for a bit. Yeah, probably a good idea. I mean, not exactly in a rush. Hmm. Then I also need to Noon. contact uh, Noon again about, uh, yeah, a new model for me. Which I've neglected to contact him about for a long time as well. I I just have issues with uh, yeah, contacting people, simply put. Mixed with me? It, I guess it depends on with what. Now, can we actually go back the same way, or do we need to go all the way around? I, I actually, I've been planning to contact my little brother to ask maybe we should uh, build my new table. Is it in the other room at the moment? But he has hurt his back, so. Yeah. And when he arrived at it, I was still sick, you know, when we both were sick for weeks. It's so I told him we build, build the table when we all are healthy. I thought these two popped up at the same time before. Okay, I, I guess the pattern changed up to uh, allow us to actually cross back over a lot easier. What's that noise? Ah. I have a Macarena and I will defend myself with it. <laughs> Yes, I am saying it wrong on purpose. <laughs> clip. Oh, I feel like it should be clipped. <laughs> I want that internalized. Okay, I pressed the button. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Shark Dog. key, shark mouse. <laughs> Two feet. <laughs> okay, if there's any versions up on the other side of this door. Classic. So, Dr. Jones, what? Okay, I thought it was coming down already, but I think that was. Yes, that was the door closing behind us. Uh, can we... Locked again. Damn it. Okay, then. Hmm. Hmm. Something's in there. I might be able to whip that thing. Whip it. There. What have we here? A tiki statue with stubby little arms. Up, up, and away. Okay, that could have been a lot more impressive if we weren't too. Qu if we were a bit slower with that. What's this? An idol. Uh, uh, Doctor Jones. Uh, Okay, welcome back to reality. 
Oops, that goes mm -hmm. gravity. I don't know what happened there. Oh, and that brings us back here. And that's through a loop. Yeah, but what do we need that thing for? Yeah. Good question. I'm guessing oh, we oh. need it for the door. Um. Time? Oh. Uh, yeah, we have hit 10. Let's see, how long is the timer still? Because we st I reset it. Uh, did it even stay on? Let's see. Uh, two minutes. Let's go check out the door. And then we'll call it the stream. Uh, I'm hours Blacker. later. <laughs> I think the webcam broke again. Uh, there we go. Blech. Okay. What have we here? A tiki statue with stubby little arms. Okay, it really gives us a lot of time on that. I, I probably could... What's I this? could probably climb up, An jump idol. off like I did there, and grab the idol whilst the, anim whilst the cutscene is still going. Okay, but we're not here to do a speed run. We're here to get to the end of the game at whatever pace we find necessary. So let's hope we do that without just exploding this time. Yeah, maybe good to save. Okay, it isn't too big of a difference, but still. 7.4. This time without. There we go. There, there, and simple enough from here. Okay, uh, tomorrow we have the big stream. We'll still have to see if we do it early or late. Uh, probably either way. Uh, if we st we won't do two streams because that would be a bit much for one day to go four hours and then another two at another time. And that's the time going off. Uh, pull this out. And of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's call it there then. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. Okay. So when should we start tomorrow if in the afternoon or evening? Uh, yeah, I've been asked to uh, be the one to take uh, to make dinner uh, tomorrow, but since it is a, uh, a swimming organization day, because my mother helps with that, uh, I'm not sure if we will be eating early or late, so I'll have to double check that. And yeah, we'll probably have to take the <laughs> we'll have to take the time slot that is the opposite of when I am expected to cook. I've already gotten most of the stuff, and it'll just be easy meal uh, hamburgers. Oh, okay. yummy! For now, though, let's open up the browser and go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Should we raid Vibenhammer? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure they're on at the moment. Let me see. First off, though, let's change over the screen share. Oh, he's here. He's still here. Let's see. I just haven't. I just haven't had anything to say. No problem. Let's see. Okay. Double check that the browser is muted. It is, so we don't get anyone's audio over this or our own when we go for the raids. Uh, okay, that's a. <laughs> the one just caught me off guard. Let's see. We have Chaos D One streaming Romanceylvania. Okay. Wait, I, I, I think I see the title. No. I thought that was a joke title that someone just made up, but that's an actual title of a game? Yes. Okay. I have to say I'm intrigued and a bit confused. Oh, I... I'm not sure if I've seen Mr. Falcon play a demo of this or not. 
Okay. Uh, next up, we have Derpy Do, who is streaming Destiny 2, likely the new expansion. We have Frayne with Scars Above. Not sure I've heard of that one before either. And then we have Seal Valkyrie, who I have we haven't seen them in a long while. They are streaming Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm a flanker is streaming Northgard. WBPL76 is streaming Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the restoration of Erechthia. And we have Halloween 4545 streaming Final Fantasy 14. All right, good also. So we will be making more, but he better release videos on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Either, either Valkyrie or Derpy. Let's see. Um. I know, I know Trigger Convoy did a long-ass Let's Play of Xenob Chronicles 1. I'm not sure if he did one on 2, but I have to say, even though he is one of my favorite Let's Players, I stopped watching that because it just went on for so fucking long. Uh, yeah, like, I don't mind longer series, but there is a limit. Yeah. Uh, let's go raid Derpy. It has been a while since we've seen Seal, but I can't really say I'm too interested in Xenoblade at the moment. Like, I I haven't heard much bad about the games. It's just, uh, yeah, JRPGs, which apparently some people are not liking as a term anymore. Uh, yeah, it, it, it takes their hearts to get into. So, yeah. I find it really easy to get to do. It kind of helps if there's a good story and good gameplay along with them. They typically tend to have that, yeah. It's, it's just there's so many characters that I I lose track. I already lose track of the characters in bloody Assassin's Creed games. And those have ev well, not even half as many as the typical uh, JRPG. Yeah, the, some handle made characters rather really well. But I can agree, there are some that add almost too many. Yeah. But as it becomes a little bit of a burden instead. Okay. For now, though, copied over their names slash raids. And before we started, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Wyvern Havern. Uh, Havern. Thank you, Wyvern Hammer, for showing up and sending along a bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. And I hope it doesn't take us too long to get to the, back to this game again. I still have two more free days after today. Um, then I have a few work days again, but then I have another week off because yeah, something in this, I tried to get more the days upcoming off, but there was just something wrong in the yeah request system that I didn't, uh, I didn't trust. So I, yeah, instead of, instead of looking for trouble with that, for possible trouble with that, I just decided I'll just work those and just work, you know, take the time off again after that. Mm. All right. Okay. For now, though, uh, yeah, of course, thank you as always as well, Vakir. I almost forgot <laughs> my rambling. You're welcome as always, my forgetful friend. <laughs> so let's start up that raid. And <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, a long stream, either in the uh, <laughs> early or late. We'll probably have to, we'll either have to start early in the evening for it. Or just go long in the afternoon. In the yeah, in the afternoon, I'm starting to confuse myself. But we'll see which when. And look, four viewers. That that's yeah, a lot more than that. I just saw. I just mentioned that. I, I just no. gasping in surprise at the moment. Yeah, typically, we have only one or two people, so I think it'd be doubled. <laughs> yeah, I, so hello everyone, and well, it's goodbye as well since we're going on a raid. Uh, but yeah. We'll see what will happen tomorrow. And yeah, until then, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for lava monsters. <laughs> <laughs>